you guys just get, got off a road trip. You guys played Notre Dame and then Boston College. A tough road trip. Can you take us through the weekend, how you think your team did this weekend? I think ACC got so much stronger now. It's one of the top conferences in the nation. Uh, so it's every every trip you have, every game you play, it's a, it's a, top, it's a tough game, you know. Uh, it was a great experience playing at Notre Dame. It's a um, day before um, football, so our kids never see, I mean, literally thousands, thousands of people, like almost day and a half before a game. So they all came to the game, so the environment was, um, it was a little bit different, you know, uh, but um, it was nice. It was nice. Um, the game against uh, Notre Dame, the team who is um, um, not doing well, you know, this season to trying to find own identity, you know, in, in what to play in suffering with a um, few uh, injuries, you know, and look like they are starting coming back. They got people back uh, in the starting line and with all this support of uh, of a lot of fans, you know, I never seen so many fans, you know, to the Bible match. So it was, a, it was, it was a great experience. Uh, Notre Dame, it's probably, I think, it's a second team out of 15 matches or 16 we played, who it tie uh, blocking as a team with us. I think it's 11-11 was. Um, so we out block, you know, by far every team we played offensively just because of our uh, still struggling you know with first um, uh, service receive so we couldn't really um, play uh, as um, uh, more successful you know uh, as, a, as a team offensively you know in in the numbers it's, it's really showing you know like if it's blocking and other component you know we we very competitive there but we was was more playing like have to play um, and offensively like individually than this you know so it's um, uh, the positive things you know about this trip you know in its start with Notre Dame and, uh, and if I can like switch to uh, Sunday match with Boston because it was continued you know um, what what the positive things we had um, uh, Lyra, who is uh, coming back uh, of the ACT, and um, she was a, a big hitter for us last year. And um, till this game, she was playing maybe like 65%, you know, to put her last year, you know. She is start showing sign of coming back, and her numbers is getting so much um, better. And um, we, we came to Boston and played Boston, who is improved a lot this year by getting everyone back from last year and they have two good transfers, you know. Um, we played again, you know, as a team, defensively, which I'm talking about blocking, you know. We overblocked this that team, I think, like almost double, almost double. But also, if you're gonna look, you know, the number as a team, you know, uh, our offense, you know, uh, we almost lost them in double too. Um, and, and still again, we're trying to figure out, you know, we have to improve our first, you know, um, contact, so receive. But again, you know, the positive things about this, Lera's second game, she even stepped even more up, you know. And also our freshman seller, who was, we was giving time to, to adapt to the, to the new um, new school to new country to everything new for her uh, she came in the second game in, in, in second and third game it, it was um, just partially because of her too you know she did a good job so we was playing really close game you know very very close game um, this is two positive things with us you know to get you know uh, Seder going and um, hopefully, you know, it's going to give us an opportunity, you know, uh, to ask Gosha to do more what she was, um, what she was doing, you know, for two years. She was passing, she was hitting, you know, and, and have um, one more experienced player on the floor. Um, she did a good job setting what we asked her to do, 
but she was doing so much more last year for us, you know, and uh, as a healer, what she's um, really good. So, um, that, so that's where we are now after yeah. our, this weekend. Um, you kind of mentioned that what I was going to ask next. Even those games, even though you guys had a little bit of struggle with service, even obviously there's some things that you guys want to improve on. You guys came back and made a lot of those sets very close. I mean, is it just a matter of finding a few things that you need to fine tune in order to get this team to where they need to be? Every time when we was getting close, you know, and we had opportunity to uh, to pull over, you know, this game, and who knows what's going to happen after that, you know, uh, do we, we lost. Again, we lost because of ball control. It's not like we lost in the block or some other element, you know. It's again was Sarisif and we had uh, to play in a broken, you know, play or it was ace. So it's, um, we, 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 we know exactly, you know, in, in what area we, we have to improve, you know. We talk about this last year too. We had, looked like we had the same problem every year, but this is most important, you know, the skill in the variable, start variable. We found way last year uh, because of a couple of players uh, improved a lot and Nico, one of them was very, very good, you know, um, player who gave us ball control. That's all what we needed, you know, because we are the, the as I said, you know, um, when we, we served pretty good, you know, and it was help us with our blocking, winning a lot of points by blocking, um, which um, we need to improve, you know, our service. If, you know, first 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 touch of the ball, you know, it's easy balls. We we have to convert this in the, in the, in the, in offense, but to to stay in the system offensively, most of the time, you know, and that's the difference from our opponent, you know, we are much more time of the system has to play and basically our uh, hitters, which we have strong hitters, have to just, you know, by itself to create on shot against the entire team. So you mentioned when we first started this interview that the ACC is getting tougher and tougher. Well, two more ACC teams come in that are also very tough opponents. Can you talk us a little bit about who we're going to be facing this weekend? We're going to play Friday, uh, Miami, uh, the team who last year played in uh, NCAA. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very good team, well-coaching team. And Pittsburgh, who are, uh, since last year, didn't lose anyone, uh, improved a lot too, and the record did speak by itself, you know. So it's going to be, it's going to be two tough matches, you know. And, uh, and, and again, we are, we can match everyone. You know, except maybe like two, three teams. You know, in our in our conference, you know, if we're gonna be improved, you know, the the service, which that's what we are trying, you know, to do every practice we play, most of our practice, the time we're spending is just for service. So, and there's also two home games. This is the first two home games that are AC games. Uh, what can fans expect when they come to the women's building this weekend, and if they tune in on Sunday, because that's also on Time Warner. So. What can they see from our team? It's definitely they're gonna see um, from uh, from 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 a team we played, you know, until uh, they're at home. They're gonna see a much higher level of of, of volleyball. The team school is coming; it just way better than we played at home so far. So they're gonna see um, hopefully very good volleyball, and uh, if they're gonna come and and really, um, and, and jump behind our team. So hopefully, with uh, all together, we can we can pull out. Thank you very much, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.